Nairobi way. Good evening. Kindle Light Vigil. Dated Sunday, 19 December 2021. Time 5 p.m. Venue OJ Vo Kangule Kaleule. Community Library Kigwema. Ni Pizza Kwe. Mira Makil. Organized by Community Library Kigwema. OJ Program Kazuhu Kasitane Ama Vule Kalemitila. Thank you very much. Pizza Mani Jumam Te Ule Nene Ta. Amine Katsio Uo Huka Hule, no Hune, Lavole Galela, no Meza. Sa Ache, Gio, Dutone, Uo Session Gathering Uo Tavoshi, Shu Pika Zaido. Context setting and welcome address. Achu Cesedo, Sa Peace Prayer by Vicky Dozato, Mu Uo Sharing. Vinito Salebe, Potesiledo, Mosasa will give the platform, will give the time for voluntary remarks. Ma Ule. Word of thanks. And then we'll end the gathering with a mass prayer. Context setting. Uo, candlelight vigil. Huji, juice lat sataji. Chudasa, uchas ye. Chu sipane huji tata. Number one dasa. Che, uo, recent incident. Date four and five. Fourth and fifth December day. AUP Mon District Oting Village Le Uma Mawata Innocent Civilians Killed by the Indian Army So in memory and solidarity to pay respect to the innocent civilians O Chavo Shulane Chikir Sata Second point is to condemn and protest against the Draconian Law Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958 AFSFA which is prevalent in Nagaland and the entire and naughty states and thirdly uo makaka newsu viral ne che for mu 5th december na incident upu ka hi kama ama sade sne sia sia da zo si zo ju cha la sada mu ju pu yo pote mo ze u do le baz la so awareness create sa ka to mu disseminate ne ama vene po cha pola si tele ne si to mo do ven si la ne Ji no voka pulesa, Utio Katakale la Volene, Pukaza Salesa, Sielam Saso, Kakilamuri, Che Indian Army, Wo, District Akile, Wasti Kakile, Hamine ma, Pequea, Asfa Zaine, Sapo Army Marine, Po Judge Sileso, Lavo Cortlane, Po Menamet Salaso, Lapuyo, Putemo, Sielam Saso, Che Ko, Kimole, Kabao, Army camp, Nagaland lagaya thoba. Sla tha magazile, mama, mat hamine sai. O kile, we have the same chances. O nagama, la under this rule, how ju ne pote mo, ju sla how dem ah condemns a ju la how repeal sa na issues. Sim visa kato la o ji ho gathering o arrange sa ho. Next, we will listen to peace prayer, peace kacha so go. Give justice to the weak and the fatherless. Maintain the right of the afflicted and the destitute. Psalms 80. 2 verse 3. Learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, and please the widow's cause. Isaiah 117. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Lord, most gracious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for giving us this very platform to let us come together in this manner to show our respect and to stand alone with the families of the innocent deceased brothers on 4th of December 2021 at Otting Village. We as two men, we, it's unbearable and it's very much painful. Dear Lord, our people, are longing and wanting for the right justice solutions 
to repeal the present ASPA in our state. We seek and sought your divine interventions to guide us, to lead us, to protect us in all these situations. This evening, as we gathered here, to pay our respect and to stand in unity with our people. I pray that let this platform be a way to be more vigilant, to be more watchful to the evil practices in and around us, so that even in future, we will be able to stand strong against any evil practices and inhuman activities. Help us to fight for a truthful and peaceful living in this very world. Dear Lord, as we proceed with our program, we want to commit each one of our, of our life, our entire program, into the mighty loving care. In most precious Jesus' name, we pray with much thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen. Vinito Sale, Pavene, Patisilene, J. Absavio, Chu Menone, Pochapolau, Jet Kazaki Hitsado, Sir, you may take your name. Good evening, everyone, my respected chairperson, the program organizers, my dearest brothers and sisters. I thank the program organizers for giving me this time. Given this platform, I would like to share. Uh, some few information regarding what happened, the incident that happened, and regarding what is AFSPA, which we call as AFSPA. Uh, to make it plain and simple, I have tried to uh, arrange my speech uh, in point wise. So, firstly, I would like to start with uh, what happened in Nagaland on Saturday, 4, 4th December. A truck carrying eight villagers home from a coal mine in Nagaland's Tiru, the place is called Tiru, was ambushed by the Indian Army, who were at the site for an alleged counterinsurgency operation. The army was in a counterinsurgency operation. Six civilians died on the spot and two were critically injured. The army expressing regret described the incident as a case of mistaken identity, which is very funny. After hearing gunshots, several villagers arrived at the spot to find armed forces personnel allegedly trying to hide the bodies by wrapping up and loading them into another truck. The violence then ensued between the anguished locals and the paramilitary personnel, which led to the death of seven more civilians. So now the total uh, dead, uh, the total body rose to 14. 14 civilians were killed. Following this uh, indiscriminate attack, 600 to 700 locals carrying sticks, stones, machetes, dows, they barged into the camps of the Assam rifle in retaliation. As, as per the police report, uh, amidst the confrontation, another protesting citizen and a Jawan was gunned down during this incident. Now, next point, what is AFSPA? What is AFSPA? The foundational legislation for AFSPA was promulgated by the colonial British government in an attempt to stifle the Quit India Movement in the year 1942. It was then titled the Armed Forces Special Powers Ordinance 1942. After independence at the time, when the partition had just hurled India into a searing internal unrest, the ordinance was converted into an act, which was initially only supposed to remain in force for a year, but was only repealed in the year 1957. A few years into independence, the government of India was faced with pockets of insurgency in the Naga district along the borders of Burma, which today we call as Myanmar. The resistance had taken a form of fight for independence from the Indian state by 1954. Now, in the light of these developments, on September 11, 1958, the AFSPA, ASPA, as we know, it came into being. 
for dealing with situations in the northeastern states. Next point, what is actually AFSPA, AFSP, what actually AFSPA is? AFSPA allows for armed forces to be conferred with special powers in any region designated as disturbed area. Okay, so we are so-called a disturbed area. <clears throat> Either by the center or the governor of a state or the administrator of a union territory, meaning the governor of a state of a state or the center okay, can designate a place as disturbed area. That's when AFSPA comes into place. Section 3 of the Act says this power can be invoked when a part of a state or a UT, Union Territory, or even the whole state is in such a disturbed or dangerous condition that the use of armed forces in aid of the civil power is necessary. Once an area has been designated as a disturbed area, the Act provides that the armed forces with the following special powers. Once a state is declared as a disturbed area, the armed forces, the army, gets these special powers. Point number one, to open fire or use force, even causing death against any person in contravention to the law for the time being of carrying uh, arms and ammunitions. Point number two, to arrest any person without a warrant on the basis of reasonable suspicion, reasonable suspicion that they have committed or are about to commit a cognizable offense. Point number three, to enter and search premises without a warrant. Point number four, to destroy fortified positions, shelters, structures, used as a hideout, training camp, or a place from which attacks are likely to be launched. These are the special powers that AFSPA gives to the military, to the army. Okay, these sweeping powers are augmented under Section 6 of the Act, which grants the personnel involved in such operations immunity from prosecution without sanction, meaning the military is, they, they are invincible under such powers. They cannot he cannot try the army in the court. Okay, so they are more or less invincible because of these acts. Section 6 notes, no prosecution, suit, or any other legal proceeding can be instituted except with the previous sanction of the central government. Now, the critics of the law, they argue that this amounts to blanket immunity given the rarity with which sanction is granted and leads to impunity for commission of human rights violation. Human rights violation, we have to very much be aware of that. Uh, next point, the disturbed areas. Where has AFSPA been imposed? Disturbed areas. AFSPA covers all the northeastern states, even though it does not apply until a particular region is designated as, designated as a disturbed area. At present, all of Nagaland and Assam have been notified as such. We are a disturbed state, disturbed area. Uh, <clears throat> as such, uh, all of Manipur except the Imphal municipal area. Okay, though the notification for Manipur is set to expire in December 2021, unless reimposed. Unless reimposed till 2021. In Arunachal Pradesh, the districts of Tirap, Changwang, Longding, as well as the areas under the jurisdiction of Namsai and uh, Mahadevpur police stations. The Act is not currently imposed in Mizoram, Tripura, and Meghalaya. I repeat, Mizoram, Tripura, and Meghalaya, all of which had, had been designated as disturbed areas for long periods of time in the past, but they are no longer uh, branded as a disturbed area. A separate armed force for Jammu and Kashmir, a Special Powers Act, on the same lines of the ASPA, similar to our state in Jammu and Kashmir, on the same lines of uh, ASPA was uh, made in 1958, was enacted by the parliament in 1980, which also remains in force. Another similar law was involved in Punjab in 1983. 
and remained in force during the uh, militancy years before being repealed in 1997. Now, the next point which I would want to share, uh, yeah, I have branded the, the topic as a decade, sorry, decades long resistance. Decades long resistance. In AFSPA imposed areas, citizens have long advocated for the revocation of the law, given its colonial legacy and the way in which its provisions have bred a culture of abuse, oppression, and immunity. The history of this law is punctuated with atrocities and human rights abuses, the most recent of which are the excesses seen in Nagaland's Mon district, which we have witnessed. The date, December 4 and 5, will never be forgotten. In this century, we will never forget this date. What I want to share with you, my fellow Bretons, is that if it can, if it can happen to Connacht people, it can also happen to us. So this is one time, this is the time that we need to stand for each other, that we need to show our support. That is why we are here. Tonight might be a small program, but it's a big gesture. They will know that we are right beside them. We are standing with them in this time of anguish. Okay. <clears throat> Since the 1950s, people of Nagaland and Mizoram have repeatedly alleged cases of indiscriminate air raids and bombings by the Indian military. The provisions of the ASPA do not include any safeguards for ensuring accountability for army personnel committing crimes, leading to right activists echoing the concerns of local time and again. Now, in the wake of instances of fake encounters, Fake encounters, I repeat, fake encounters, extrajudicial killings and massacres. The United Nations had taken note of this draconian law in 2012 and noted that AFSPA had no role to play in democracy. We are the biggest democratic country in the world and AFSPA has no role to play in a democratic country. If we are truly living in a democratic nation, this should be not there should uh, never be any such thing as AFSPA. <clears throat> this came uh, seven years after a center appointed committee headed by the former Supreme Court judge, BP Jeevan Reddy, had recommended that it be repealed and any relevant provisions added to the Unlawful Activities uh, Prevention Act. Despite upholding AFSPA in 1997, the Supreme Court also raised concerns about the law in 2016 and sought to clarify its usage. Uh, in an important judgment on a plea by the Extrajudicial Execution Victim Families Association, it's called EEVFAM. I repeat, Extrajudicial Execution Victim Families Association, EEVFAM. The Apex Court ruled that the act cannot be said to provide blanket immunity to army personnel amidst uh, anti-insurgency missions. And that even in an area designated as disturbed area, the forces can only utilize their special powers against targets that meet the criteria specified in the act. If any death was unjustified, there is no blanket immunity available to the perpetrators of the offense. The bench of justices, uh, Madan B. Rocker and Yuyu Lalit, uh, added that no one can act with impunity, particularly when there is a loss of innocent life. <laughs> if members of our armed forces are deployed and employed to kill citizens of our own country on the mere allegation of suspicion, then they are enemy. They are not the friends of the hill people. Not only the rule of law, but our democracy would be in grave danger. We cannot say we are, we are not safe in our own state. We are not safe in our own country. <clears throat> now, coming to the conclusion, I've branded this topic as repeal, repeal AFSPA, repeal AFSPA, a renewed spark. That's what I've branded. The entire Nagaland is now peaceful. Is a peaceful area as all the NPGs, meaning Naga national political groups from Nagaland, have ceased fire. We have ceased fire with the government of India. And in this sense, 
there is no reason why ASPA 1958 with the section to declare areas as disturbed areas should remain in a state. All the in NPGs okay, have ceased with the, with the government of India. So there is no reason why we should be branded as a disturbed area. In spite of the state under the bond of peaceful ceasefire for the last 24 years, I repeat, for the last 24 years, the ruthless massacres of a 13, sorry, 14, unarmed, unarmed Konak Naga innocent brothers in cold blood and several other civilians left injured with bullet wounds by the Indian armed forces at Oting village area in Mon district, 4 December. It happened on 4 December 2021. It has acted, it has acted as a stimulus to reinvigorate the movement against AFSPA. Terming this 4 December 2021 massacre as an unfortunate incident, mistaken identity, I still cannot digest, mistaken identity, will not bring justice to our innocent Nagar brothers. The government can compensate the families, but they cannot bring back the lives of our 14 brothers who were ruthlessly killed. The Oting incident in one area makes me wonder how the moral of the Indian army would allow them to commit such dirty and ugly crimes against humanity, which any decent human being could never even imagine in the wildest dream. When we look back at Naga history, thousands more such irremissible incidents are etched in our hearts and mind and never can be erased in any form. This evening, as I stand here before all of you, my brothers and sisters, my fellow villagers, I am reminded of the words propounded by our leader, our father. We call him the father of, of our state, of our nation, of our leader, Ez Pizzo. He propounded, he remarked, to be a man among men and a nation among nations. To live up to these words, let us unite our voices against Afspa. This very evening, let's unite our hearts against Afspa, which is undemocratic, unconstitutional, dubious, with an intent to annihilate those who seek the right. So with that, I would like to uh, conclude my, my sharing. I thank you for the time. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Vinito. No powerful message to Silavone or Simogaso. As far as I say, she is here. So, what you call Simon, Jula Sai, or Sazo, what the memo she, or Sazo, Amine, Satosa, or Kona Pizza de Melchi, so Simoso, Kapurazla, Mesato. Che. Word of things, closing remarks. Oh, Kisito Saleve, but they still believe in the law. No vocal, no dear, got only known. Kamazadia, no, you put yes, sir. I have one more question. How many more civilians' life will it take for the Indian to consider us as Nagas or India to be considered a democratic country? Oh, not to be Okuho Kasada, as for Chamusa. First of all, Mr. Akupiramu, Mr. Tefakele, Punai Kamza, the Puya platform, Hamabizo Kave, Ovene, Ote Moso Koso. What as far is and how it impacts us, Habizo, Silevi, at the same time to express our solidarity platform of Kaike Hila, Puyi, Kamza, the Puya. Sa, so so. Mr. Vika Do Zuto Vune Ola Teja Chai Hi Mu O Vo Ozi Osazi Zia Konyako Pokal Hivo Mvozo Lazo Poki Kuola Teja Chai Hila Pum Zadi Tom Zadi Se Pum Sia Sa Tia Vokale Ozi Gano Osazi Novo Mu O Habine Ule Nia Bane it's a small platform, but our voice needs to be heard. And 
I believe. Our voices will be heard and it will have an impact to the Nagas and to the people which are affected by the Asfa as a whole. Thank you all for coming and I believe ก็จะโดนโพชิซีเลมูพระเจ้าเลยมูพระเจ้าเลยโซโอ้ก็จะตรงโพชิซีเลมูพระเล็กสาเลยตาซึ่งเมลเลอรีโนมเตียมซะโ